It is the age-old question. What, apart from price, is the difference between Dura-A, Shimano's flagship group set, and Ortegra? Well, thanks to our partners at Shimano, we're about to go through that in some detail. Both Ortegra and Dura Ace are available as either mechanical group sets or electronic, i.e. their DI2. And within those, there's also the choice between rim brake or disc brake. So a total of four options on each side. And we've got two examples of those here in the set today. Over here is a Trek Imondo of a full Shimano Dura Ace DI2 9170 group set. Whilst over here, we have a BMC Team Machine that's got a full Ortegra 8000 mechanical group set on. Both of them, as you can see, are disc brake models. This is my bike, which you will have seen me using on GCN before, whilst this is the BMC of Mark Threlfall, he of the Global Triathlon Network. So obviously I have removed the top tube bag and the under the saddle bottle cages before we started filming. Anyway, the other day I took this one out for a quick spin, and if I'm perfectly honest, I'm not sure if I was blindfolded whether I'd have been able to tell you if I was on Ultegra or Dura Ace. Obviously, I would have crashed as well. Nevertheless, it did get me thinking, is there really a difference at all? Well, I think we should go and ask someone in the know. Yeah, from a technology perspective, they're made in one package, so they're the same, the same functionality. But uh, Ultegra is for a broader audience, so more different riding styles. Okay. So they were developed as a pair, but in mind that you ride in different places, different riding styles, different speeds. And uh, so the, the consumer does get the same benefits, yeah. but at a better price point. Okay, yeah. so, so the functionality of the two, as you're saying, is the same. So there's, not, there's no difference maybe in you know, where the placement of the shifting ramps on the chain rings or whatever else, that, that is the same? Yeah. That is exactly the same because that is the heritage of Shimano, is shifting performance. Uh, what is different is the type of production methods we use, the materials we use to uh, reach a lower price point. A cheaper production method so can sometimes achieve the same products, the same shape, but a bit heavier. In technology-wise, the closest possible uh, Ultegra generation to Dura Ace that we have seen so far. Really? Yes. Yeah. And and so does does Dura Ace have a price point that you work towards, or are the engineers given you know like a blank sheet of paper and said right off you go? The engineers are given a blank sheet of paper. It must be top notch. It must be according what the racers want, what is needed. It's the Formula One of cycling. Blimey. Well, if even Shimano product managers are claiming that there's little difference between the functionality of the two, we are really going to have to go into a lot more detail here. However, we shall start with the most obvious thing, and that is the price. A Dura Ace group set compared like for like with Ultegra is about twice the price. That, putting it mildly, is significant. What about the weight then? Well, if we take this bike as an example, uh, Shimano's Dura Ace 9170 Di2 group set, which is a disc brake model, will come in at about 500 grams less than the Ultegra equivalent. That's half a kilo, so a reasonable amount. That includes everything as well as the wheels. But as we've heard, and to reiterate, Shimano claimed that there's little difference in functionality between the two, or even durability. And actually, the Ultegra has never been close a match to its more expensive relative. So why then is Ultegra so much cheaper? Well, it comes down to the material that they use. You see, with Ultegra, they really need to hit a price point. So the difference between the two can really be just as simple as what they're using to make it. For the purposes of this video, and in order not to make it an hour long, we are going to be comparing DI2 disc brake group sets across Ultegra and Dura Ace. And we're going to start up here with the shifters, the STIs, which incorporate the brakes and the shifters. Now obviously you can see a difference between mechanical and DI2, but comparing like for like, the STIs look and feel almost identical. And they've both got carbon fibre levers here too. So how then is Ultegra 25% heavier than Dura Ace? Well, it comes down to what you can't see, the internals. To give you an example, Shimano Dura Ace use carbon fiber resin for their brackets, whereas Ultegra is a glass fiber resin. On the flip side of that though, with Ultegra, you've actually got a greater degree of adjustability. So if you've got particularly large or small hands, you might well find that you're more comfortable on the Ultegra model. So 
So if the mechanics of the shifting are exactly the same, what's the difference? Well, you've probably guessed it, it's in the construction. For example, the Dura-Ace cassette here has a carbon fibre spider. It has six alloy sprockets and five titanium, whereas over here on the Ultegra, it is an alloy spider. That in itself takes it up from 175 grams to 232 grams. That's a difference of 57 or 30%. And this, on a single component, is the biggest difference between the two. Whilst we're on the subject of cassettes, this gives us another glimpse into something Ultegra can do, that Dura Ace can't. You see, Ortega is far more versatile for different riding styles. You can, if you so wish, get an Ortega cassette that is 11 up through to 34 teeth with the corresponding medium cage rear derailleur to go with it. On the other hand, if you opt for Dura Ace, you can have a maximum of 30 teeth. That is down to Shimano's firm belief that Dura Ace is the racer's group set and that they don't need anything bigger. Okay, let's move on to the derailleurs. The key differences once again here are in the materials used. For example, the Dura-Ace rear derailleur, uh, this cage is made out of carbon fibre, whereas on the Ortegra version, it will be aluminium. Likewise, at the front there's a difference. The Dura-Ace front derailleur cage is made out of aluminium and Ortegra, it's on steel. The differences though are perhaps quite small. This, for example, weighs 204 grams, whereas the Ortega equivalent weighs 242, whilst the front derailleurs are 104 and 132 grams respectively. So in total, across the two derailleurs, that is a difference of just 66 grams. And then up here at the chain set, again, they look quite similar, but there is a weight difference between the two. That depends on how big the chain rings are on them, but roughly it is 65 grams or about 10%. There's also a difference here at the disc rotors. There is a coating here on the Dura Ace rotor, which aids in heat dissipation, which is absent from the Ortegra version. And it just so happens that that coating is in a rather stealth black, which does look rather neat. However, they do both have the same three layer construction. Is there a weight difference? Well, yes, but it's negligible, 10 grams between the two. Reassuringly though, the braking performance across the two group sets is exactly the same. Going into the finer details of the electronic DI2 functionality, that too is the same across the two group sets. Shimano's latest Ortega group set is Synchro Shift Enabled, and that means that you can set your front derailleur to shift semi-automatically if you so wish. You can also customize a whole array of shifting settings by linking your group set up with the eTube Project app, which with the right accessory will link your DI2 directly with your smartphone. There you'll be able to change settings such as how quick the shifting occurs as well as what button does what. So we've already seen that Dura A saves a reasonable amount of weight over Ultegra, but the biggest difference comes at the wheels, round about 300 grams. Quite difficult to compare like for like here, and that's because Dura Ace, being the racer's group set, comes with tubular models available, and that saves a significant chunk of weight. And there's also the option of far deeper and more aero rims. On the other hand, Ultegra, continuing on with its versatility remit, well that has aluminium rims with a carbon laminate over the top, but they're only available in clincher tubeless versions. In summary then, the key difference between Dura Ace and Ultegra is in the weight, and then the secondary difference is in the finish. That, for many of you, is going to make the purchase of Dura Ace feel fairly extravagant, because you seemingly don't get a lot more for your money. However, across bike equipment in general, there is that law of diminishing returns as you spend more money, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it is a complete waste. It is, however, very good to know that functionally, Ultegra is now pretty much as good as Dura Ace, and you can only imagine then what the new 105 group set might be like. That is quite the prospect. Right, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up just down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can do so now by clicking on the globe. And if you missed Sai's first look at both of these group sets, you can find that just down here. <laughs>